hello everyone it's angela bliss with angie's art asylum and i have a seven by nine inch canvas and i'm going to use some white house paint mixed with some gac 800 um, and we're going to use that hair pick to kind of modify uh the pour a little bit of the swipe and uh, then we're just going to spin it out so I had some technical difficulties with the audio and I'm doing a voiceover so I'm sorry about that guys so uh, this is a really short video hopefully we'll speed it up through the process but I'm going to um, give you the colors that I used and they were just from the Dutch pour the previous video if you haven't seen that I'll try to remember to uh, place that card up at the top of this video so that you can go watch it and so those three browns I mixed together to make a custom brown and I will try to get all of this in the description box for you guys as well. And then I also used um, this little piggy's pigment. I think it was cappuccino. If I had enough left. That is the custom brown. And I was just trying to use up all the extra paint that I had left. And I'm pretty sure that was Arteza's, there's the cappuccino. Um, that custom brown was um, two Arteza colors and then the Van Dyke brown by Amsterdam. But like I said, I'll try to put those colors in the description box. It was a little dark. It should have been a little lighter. Next time I... Uh, use these colors I probably will go a little lighter on the on that custom brown but that cappuccino really sparkles especially um, with the gold that I'm gonna put on here too and these colors um, had already been thinned out a little bit for the Dutch pour earlier in the video that I talked about and then here the 24k gold and that is the deco art americana uh, decor metallics and I really didn't have a rhyme or reason while I was doing this uh, this little squiggly line of events but I just wanted to try to get all the paint on the canvas and uh, not waste it so you guys get the picture. And then I'm pretty sure that is the This Little Piggy's Nebula pigment. And these paints, um, these colors were all mixed with the untinted house paint and Joe Sonia varnish. Um, and then of course I had thinned them down a little bit. Um, for the Dutch pour video that I did prior to this one. Now I'm just kind of moving it around a little bit so that uh, when I go to spin it, um, most of the canvas is covered. And then of course this color is the silver, Arteza silver. And like I said, I'm just using up all of the paint so that I don't waste it I have a very small area that I work in so um, a lot of the paints that I have left over I just sometimes just do a, a pour like this so uh, I am using Payne's gray um, that was Arteza as a cell activator to swipe over the colors 
that paint is mixed with Floetrol, about four parts Floetrol, one part paint, and I use the Minwax pre-stain wood conditioner as an additive to um, thin it down a little bit to help it create the cells. So we're going to do that here in a second. I'm pretty sure that I'm doing that now. I really hope I'm doing a good job for the voiceover. It's really hard to uh, to do. I, I'd much rather not do a voiceover, but I'd rather you guys have a little bit of sound for the video. And I hated to scrap these videos because they really were quite fun to do. And I wanted to share them with you guys. So thanks for putting up with me uh, through this. I appreciate it. Hopefully I have the audio figured out and I know what I did incorrectly that way in the future we won't have this problem so thanks for bearing with me guys i appreciate it and as always if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel um like the video comment let me know what else you'd like to see what colors you'd like to see what techniques you'd like for me to try um i'm really trying to create the best content for you um here on on my channel and I certainly appreciate you guys. That P Payne's Gray activator, cell activator, is pretty amazing. Um, and this turned out really cool. I really love it. It's very, very shiny. And I can't wait for you guys to see the dried result. I'm going to get off of here now and let you guys enjoy the rest of this. And uh, put a little music in the background and... I will see you guys on the dry side. Thanks for watching. Hi everybody, um, I'm back with the dried result of this little 7 by 9 inch uh, canvas. It was leftover paint from the Dutch pour that I did recently. I will try to put that video up here so that you can just uh, click onto it and go straight directly to it when I'm done. Um, or I'll put it in the description box or you can search my channel and find it there. Um, so this is it. It's pretty amazing. Uh, I love the Payne's Gray. The Payne's Gray, that blue, is so pretty. And I just took the comb and wrecked it. Um, something that I'd never done before with the uh, with the hair pick. So that's pretty interesting. I love it. And the gold just shimmers in the background.
turned out quite amazing. So you guys let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I'm uh, doing my best to give you guys content that you want to see. So uh, with that in mind, uh, help me build my channel. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know uh, anything you want to tell me. I, I'm, I'm willing to uh, listen and try to get better. Uh, I'm, I'm just enjoying myself and the process of uh, painting. So I want you guys to come along with me and enjoy yourself while you're here. So um, I will talk to you guys soon and thank you for coming on my journey with me. I appreciate it so much. You guys are awesome.